Hi Nigelia Cyprus members and all the members on the forums. Um, just like to give you a quick tip on how I store my shishas and uh, keep them fresh, especially if I'm going to, you know, um, not use them for a certain amount of time because I don't usually get a lot of time to um, smoke even in the evenings uh, due to work. But anyway, this is how I keep my fresh. I basically, I've tried uh, Tupperware containers. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, for me, they don't actually work because firstly, they're not 100% airtight. I've tried them in the past. Um, if you have a certain strong flavour and uh, you wash it out, you know, change of flavour, for me it still retains the flavour of the previous one. So what I do is I use these um, plastic Ziploc bags and uh, what I do, I just, you know, buy my shisha. These are available in different sizes from various supermarkets. Um, I do like these. As you can see, what I do, I just open up the pack. Um, and uh, pour it into the bag. I'll give it a good mix around, yeah, like that. So it, it breathes. Now obviously you're gonna say, well, you know, what's happened to all these, what's gonna happen to all these parts up here, you know, and the juices. Basically, it's quite simple. What I'll do is turn it around this way. I get a piece of old um, cardboard from a tablet packet, sorry. Okay, whatever. Um, these are actually very good if you get a really severe buzz from a mini shishi, you know, a severe headache after. These are very, very good, so bear that in mind as well. So, what I'll do is just get my piece of cardboard and squeeze all the juices, all the spare bits down like that. You see, make it nice and flat, totally clear. I've pushed all the juices and all the leaves down to where um, the main part of the tobacco is so I'm not losing anything there even if I'm preparing a you know a bowl and I'll dip my hand in there and, and mix it all up after I've finished all I do just use this method here and as you can see it'll expel all the air as well and that, what I'll do is turn that round like that and I'll start, what's the best way to do this so you can all see um, I'll start pushing it all to one corner like so I haven't got the actual bag closed so as I'm doing this I'm expelling the air as well okay a little bit stuck in the corner there can you see how it picks it up and then all you need to do is just slide that along like that and you're done turn it round this way so you can all see and there you go I've got a nice square clean block just how the actual manufacturer packed it um, for me this works it's a good tip so um, if you would like to try it you know it's a handy tip keeps it fresh um, for sort of like longer periods if it's not going to be used and what I'll do is um, seal that bag up and I will actually fold this up like so and then I'll just drop it into a second one okay uh, you don't really have to worry about cost because I mean these um, sorry about that these medium sized bags like one euro sixty for about fifty so um, very good very economical and um, I hope you'll find this helpful thanks very much that's another how-to video